Hey everyone, it's Dez, and I've got an Ipsy Glam Bag review for you. Okay, so literally, long time no see. I've been dying to make a new video, but it seems like everything in its power this week has been trying to stop me from doing anything fun. Literally, I have like college classes, play practice, all sorts of meetings and field trips, and I have had no time whatsoever to make a new video. So I'm hoping today, even though I've already done an Ipsy haul before, that I can make it up to you guys. Also, I kind of felt a little festive today. I mean, spring is around the corner, obviously, here in Pennsylvania. It's sunny out, there were birds singing, I'm not dying of cold anymore. It is finally here. Okay, without further delay, here's our March Ipsy bag. Personally, I love this bag. It is so cute. Just look at it, all these cute little pink and yellow flowers, and it is very spring-like. And since March is my birthday month, I feel like this bag should represent me, and it, and it very so does. At least the outside of this bag represents me. It is a, so cute. And the material, I don't think the material is very cheapy at all. I think it's really a good bag. It's just a good design overall, in my opinion. Inside the bag, we have our standard card. This one is Floral Fantasy, and it has these girls who look much better than probably I could with all the items in this bag. And, uh, let's see, wake up your imagination with this crazy beautiful explosion, blah da 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 Okay, moving on. The first thing I found in my bag were these skin eye gel things. They're Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels by Skin Iceland, solutions for stressed skin, which I have at this moment. So these will be very useful. They feel not like gel, they feel like little packets almost, so maybe it's like this picture on here where this person's eyes are like covered with these under eye things. Let's see, remove backing and apply to under eye area for up to 10 minutes. Yep. I mean, I don't really know if these are going to work or not, but I'd sure like to try them. They look pretty refreshing, and I think it says it helps helps firm and depuff within 10 minutes. That sounds pretty fast. I hope that it works, because I could certainly use this kind of thing at this moment. Next, we have a BB cushion by La Neige. I hope I said that right. Either way, it says it's exclusively at Target, so this is something that's probably going to be available to almost everyone, at least everyone who has a Target. I personally don't have a Target. Don't ask me how I live my life. I have no idea how I live without a Target. Um, it comes with three different shades, one light, one medium, and one dark. And then it also has a SPF 50 sunscreen in there, which I think was really nice of them to put that in there. Personally, um, I don't really wear a lot of heavy foundation, so a BB cream is very fitting for me. Uh, I'll definitely try it out and see if it's lightweight or not. I don't want anything that's like super heavy or is going to get cakey in during the day, so hey, maybe this will be just the thing I need. By the way, I don't know what's going on with my hair right now, but just bear with me. Next we have this Mary Kay at Play um, eye pencil, and it is in the shade Tell me more. There's nothing more in life that I love than makeup puns. This pencil is a very nice teal color. I shall give you a little swatch. It has a very iridescent look. It's green in some light and blue in the others. I really like it. I could probably match that with a couple of outfits that I have in my closet already, so yeah. I noticed also putting it on, the, the consistency is very creamy, so I think that'll be very handy. I hope it doesn't crease, though, because that's, like, my pet peeve, is when you have an eye crayon, and even if you have an eyeshadow primer on, then it will crease. Next in my bag, I had a glow oil treatment for shiny, hydrated hair from Cool Way. Now, I don't really have much use for this. I have very oily hair to begin with, but um, I like to put stuff like this on my ends. Um, at first I wasn't very excited to get it because I'm like, oh great, another oil, what am I going to use this one for? But once I smelled it, it made up for all of it. It smells seriously like sweet tarts or like Sprite, like Sprite and sweet tarts put together. It is, oh, it is so amazing. So yeah, I mean, they give you a decent size amount and just be careful when you're opening this little tip that like you don't get any oil on yourself because... That's happened to me quite a few times with this. Uh, otherwise, I don't hate it. 
So yeah. Now to my most favorite product ever in this entire bag. I am a lipstick fanatic. I wear lipstick every day. I love lipstick so, 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 so much. And I've always wanted to try the NYX Butter Lipsticks. And I got a shade that I'm actually really happy of the shade I got because I don't really like light colors. I like to wear a lot of dark colors usually. Um, this one is in the shade Hunk. And it is a very purple berry-like shade. Looks like this. And I'll give you guys a little swatch. On the skin, it comes out very pink. Um, I'll probably put some on my lips just to show you guys. And there you have it. I think for my skin color, it's not really what I usually go for. I feel like it makes me look a little bit like an old lady, to be honest. Um, but I can guarantee I'll find something to wear this with. I always have some sort of crazy outfit in my closet that will go with anything. So, yeah, I don't hate it. It's very creamy consistency. It's very, like the label says, buttery. Uh, I don't think it's, it's not very lip liney either, so it won't get like settled into the creases there, I don't think. And I don't know, overall NYX is one of my more favorite brands, so I would really trust that, you know, that this company would pull off a stunt like this. If I had to pick my favorite product out of this bag, it would probably definitely be the lipstick because I use them so much. And overall, it's, I just think it's the best product out of the bag. My least favorite product of the bag would probably either be the Teal Me More at Play um, Mary Case eyeshadow, whatever the thing is, stick because it's not a color that I use a whole lot and I really stick to more neutral eyeshadows. Um, other than that, I still don't think it's a bad product. The bag overall in general I think was really good this month. It's definitely worth the $10 in my opinion. Anyways, that's all I have to show for you guys today. Uh, hopefully I'll be making more videos later this week if things go according to plan and I don't get swamped with all my work from school. But until then, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.